Welcome back. It's still TV3 New Day. And a few happy birthday wishes. Happy birthday to Reverend Enoch Mensa Kwashi, the founder and leader of Faith Rock International Ministries. This is from Abigail Deku and Te Modesta here at TV3. Also, happy birthday to two-year-old Ohine Kwabna in J. This is from your mommy, Josephine in J here at TV3. And your daddy, James in J. And the message is we wish our son a beautiful birthday. Today, we pray for supernatural blessings upon his life. Amen. So happy birthday to your Hene Kwabana in GG. Let's do some health related discussions uh, because we are told that some 15,000 newborns every year are born of uh, with the sickle cell uh, you know, condition. And uh, this year we are looking at creating awareness about the condition and also uh, creating awareness about the red blood cell disorder. And I've been joined in studio by uh, members from Sickle Life to tell us a bit more about what we're doing this year because every year 19th June is set aside to mark the day and also creates a lot more awareness on the condition. Good morning, Dr. Enam Sefako Bankas is the founder of Sickle Life and Enokwe is a volunteer uh, for sickle life. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right. So, what does it mean to 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 have to be a person who lives with sickle cell? It means different things to different people, but mm -hmm. basically, what it means is that the person was born with a genetic disorder that affects red blood cells. So, there's a change in the genes, and it makes the red blood cells have an abnormal shape. Mm -hmm. The red cell is what carries oxygen around your body, mm -hmm. every part of your body. So when the cell changes its shape, it's not able to function effectively. So it gets blocked in different parts of the body. Mm -hmm. And then when it gets blocked, we have a number of symptoms and signs, which is what we are all accustomed to, what we know about sickle cell. Mm -hmm. But then fundamentally, it's because of a genetic change that has affected the red blood cell structure. Okay, so what do you mean by genetic change is that uh, sickle cell is not acquired, my lifestyle does not determine whether I get the, the, the condition. Exactly. I'm born with this. If my parents had it, uh, have the condition, it's likely for it to be passed on to me. So, so let's look at, so if I'm, um, I see your t-shirt, you have yes. SC. What does it mean? It means you're a carrier? Yes, so the normal hemoglobin, the normal red blood cell is A. Mm -hmm. The thing in it that carries oxygen is um, hemoglobin, and that's what we classify as A. That's normal. Okay. When it undergoes a genetic change, mm -hmm. based on the position of that genetic change, it's given a different alphabet. Okay. So S is the severest form. Okay. Now, we say somebody has sickle cell disease when they have S and then any other abnormal form. Okay. So if you have S, like me mm -hmm. and C, mm -hmm. then it means you have sickle cell disease. Okay. Some people have SS. Okay. Some people have SD, SE, mm -hmm. okay. SO. The normal form the is normal form is A. So a. if you have AA, okay. it means you have the normal type. You okay. don't have sickle cell disease. Okay. If you have AS, a it means you have the normal one and then the abnormal one, which is S. So you miss so your it career. means your career. Okay. You have the traits. You do okay. not have sickle cell disease, mm -hmm. but you can pass it on to your child. Because that S is in your blood, mm -hmm. it's in your genes, mm -hmm. so it can be passed on. Mm -hmm. But then the SSSC, once there's an S in another abnormal form, mm -hmm. then it's a sickle cell disease. So do, if, if I'm an AS, am I likely to have a child who is SS? So it depends on who your partner is. Okay. It will depend on the genotype of your partner. Okay. Because it's a simple um, crossing. So if you take yours, AS, mm -hmm. and you take your partner, if your partner also happens to have an S mm -hmm. in their genes, okay. then when it's time for you to have your child, when the genes cross, mm -hmm. your A may fuse with your partner's gene mm -hmm. or your S may fuse with your partner's gene. So if your partner happens to have an S, mm -hmm. for example, the person is AS mm -hmm. or even SS, mm -hmm. then your S may fuse with their S. Mm -hmm. But then this is um, something that happens with every pregnancy. Mm -hmm. So we can actually predict mm -hmm. that for a person who is AS and another person who is AS, there's a one in four chance that mm -hmm. their child will have sickle cell disease with each pregnancy. Mm -hmm. So it's not that if you are AS, AS, and you have four children, mm -hmm. one will be AS, one will be AA, the other two will be AS. Okay. It's every pregnancy. Okay. Enoch, I'll come to you on what you're doing sure. this year, but let me, let me ask a bit more. S C, is that what your condition is? Yes. Okay, how has life been for you? Is it a big deal to, live, uh, to, to be a, patient, a person living with uh, sickle cell? 
Well, um, it's a chronic medical condition okay. like many others, and it's quite challenging because, as I said, the red cell carries oxygen around the body, and we learned from basic school, oxygen is important in, in the body. Mm -hmm. So when you have these abnormal red cells and they get blocked in various parts of the body, um, you can have symptoms from head to toe, mm -hmm. right? So for me personally, the experience has been a lot of admissions, ill health, mm -hmm. because, because of how these cells function, they're not able to carry the oxygen well. Mm. So you would sometimes have anemia, your blood level will be low because the body tries to get rid of these abnormal cells. Mm -hmm. So that process of getting rid of it makes the level low. And if you are anemic, of course, you'll not be as active as your colleagues. So then um, it may even affect your studies because you'll be lethargic, you'll be dizzy, etc. Mm -hmm. And also people with sickle cell disease are prone to infections. Mm -hmm. So you'd, especially when they are under five years, mm -hmm. so you'd be having a lot of infections and having to go on admission from time to time. And in addition to this, when these sickle cells block parts of the body because of their abnormal shape, mm -hmm. oxygen no longer gets to those parts of the body. And then the waste products are not able to leave. So as they accumulate there, the people begin to feel pain in those places. So we mm -hmm. all probably know of um, people with sickle cell um, disease talking about crises. Mm -hmm. They're having pain. People call it rheumatism. Mm -hmm. That is just because the vessels are blocked and yeah. oxygen does not get in. Mm -hmm. And those are very painful episodes. So when you are in that kind of pain, obviously you can't go to school or work. Mm. So that's, that's also well, a Well, you have become it. a doctor. <laughs> must be really... You know, struggle for you because I mean, for someone who has who is a career, no, and I have the disease. You have the the, the condition. Yes. It's a disease, yes. and you've been able to go through, and now you're a doctor. Yes, you must be able to inspire <laughs> other people to know that really, I can also do this. Exactly, that is what Circle Life um, does. We have a mentorship project, for example, where people like me talk to younger people with sickle cell disease because mm -hmm. there are a lot of myths around sickle cell disease. Mm -hmm that you die before you are 18, you can't yes. have children, mm -hmm. you cannot be is that certain a, Is that a bad one? Is it, is, it, is it true that you die before you're 18? It's absolutely not true. I am here as proof. I am way past 18. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes, yeah, so we do things like that, mentorship projects, so that younger children with sickle cell disease can meet people like me, yeah. and their parents also see me, and then they are inspired. They know that these kids can live longer, and they can live a healthy, normal life, once they have appropriate management. Mm -hmm. Today we are talking about combating sickle cell disease through stakeholder involvement. Mm -hmm. For me, people see me and they think it's all rosy, but it wasn't. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of social support that went into it. There are support groups that help people with sickle cell disease, and Sickle Life has one mm -hmm. that we um, used to give okay. psychological support. Mm -hmm. But in addition to this, there's mm -hmm. also the medical care. Mm -hmm. because. I have sickle cell, but other people have it, and they may not be doing as well as I am mm -hmm. because they probably did not get diagnosed early. early. So they didn't start um, going for reviews. They were not on medication. Mm -hmm. and so so, so we'll talk about the diagnosis because it means that if I'm not diagnosed, I, I wouldn't know that I have sickle cell. Exactly. All I'll know is that I'll be getting sick and I really will not know if I'm not tested for it. Mm -hmm. But let me come to you, Enoch. We'll, we'll talk about the diagnosis, but let me come to you, Enoch. Every year we, we mark this, this day and every year we get a lot more numbers, people you know, born with a condition. What is different with activities mapped for, for this year? So this year, the theme is combating sickle cell disease through mm -hmm. stakeholder support. And why we say stakeholder support is that often people living with um, sickle cell disease, are, you know, their support system comes from family, from friends. And you don't get support from, from people outside these circles. Okay. Uh, I have... Personally, I've encountered people living with sickle cell disease who have had difficulty accessing medical um, care mm -hmm. because of their NHIS card. Mm -hmm. And the NHIS doesn't cover sickle cell disease. Mm -hmm. so in its what, entirety. In its entirety. Mm -hmm. So what we are doing this year is we are trying to raise awareness. We are trying to bring a lot more people into the fold in mm -hmm. supporting persons living with sickle cell disease mm -hmm. because... And I'm here as a testament to the fact that with the right support and with the right system, mm -hmm. they can live a happy life, mm -hmm. a healthy life that you and I um, enjoy okay. as, say, non-carriers okay. or um, 
people okay. who do not have the, the so so you 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 are sickle life is engaging stakeholders yes. because if your theme is uh uh combating sickle cell disease through stakeholder support, support who are the stakeholders you guys are engaging and getting the support from so this um, afternoon we have a webinar okay and then it involves the government okay so we have um dr nskisi asiedu he's the um, director for the Quality Improvement Unit of the Ministry of Health, we want to address what the government can do for persons living with sickle cell disease. And mm -hmm. it's, it's a very broad conversation. Enoch mentioned um, NHI is not covering everything. Mm -hmm. And there are things like hydroxyurea, which is uh, basically the standard of care now for sickle cell. Most patients are on it outside the country. But in Ghana, it's not on health insurance. Mm -hmm. So for patients, What does it do? What does that do? That treatment, what does it do? So it's um, a disease-modifying drug. It reduces the amount of sickle cells in the blood. Okay. And once you have less of these abnormal cells, all the blood vessels that are going to cause the stroke and blindness and um, affected bones and everything else are reduced. Okay. So everybody elsewhere mm -hmm. is using mm -hmm. hydroxyurea. Yeah. And even the world is moving forward to more mm -hmm. advanced forms. Mm -hmm. We are now catching up on it here. Last year, we had a beautiful launch, mm -hmm. and government made promises to mm -hmm. us that we are going to mm -hmm. have um, hydroxyurea on NHIS, mm -hmm. but it's still not been implemented. Yeah. We have a lot of children who are being diagnosed early, and we want them to be put on the medication so that some of the complications that the older ones had, had yeah. because we didn't have these drugs, mm -hmm. can be prevented, and these kids can live longer and healthier. So once you're diagnosed under five years, you're able to manage it well so it doesn't yes. get complicated. Exactly. We know okay. that majority of the complications, especially the infections, okay. are worse um, under five. Mm -hmm. So f because of that, we also add prophylaxis, medication to prevent infections. Mm -hmm. So most of these children How are... How expensive is, is that medication? So one capsule is about 1 CD 20 pesos. For, and how many capsules do I need in a day? You need one for the one, children, 500 mil. Okay, it's weight million. dependent. So okay. Depending on your weight, they'll calculate it. But then for the younger ones, about one capsule. But and does the NHI uh, come Not out? yet. We not were yet. made promises, but it's yet to materialize. Okay. And even beyond that, it's a very... Um, you need to be monitored strictly. Okay. So apart from taking the medication, you'd also have to be coming for reviews and then your lab's done because um, it, it affects the parameters of your... Um, Blood. Blood, yeah. yeah. So when you include that to the work, okay. we think that once we have that mm. medication for free, mm. it would help us. I would come to you, and I can ask you why you're wearing AA means you are safe. So, uh, so I just want to know why you're a volunteer on this one. Well, my story for joining Sickle Life is really all about, and I'm seeing the passion that she puts into her work okay. and trying to give a voice to persons living with sickle cell disease. Mm -hmm. Um, I came on board, as you can see, my t-shirt says AA, mm -hmm. which means I am not a carrier. Yes. I also do not have the condition. Mm -hmm. But I can do a lot to help persons living with sickle cell disease. Okay. And part of it is volunteering for um, sickle cell activities, sickle okay. uh, activities related to sickle cell disease okay. and with sickle life. So I am an advocate with sickle life. Okay. I create awareness mm -hmm. and... Um, we are and you're fighting. encouraging other people to, to do the same. You exactly. don't really have to have the condition before exactly. you support. Exactly. Okay, so coronavirus is here. Does it mean that persons who have uh, um, sickle cell are more susceptible to getting the, the virus? Dr. Enam. Yes, yeah, so we have general knowledge that persons with sickle cell disease are more susceptible to a lot of infections. Okay. And the mechanisms are varied. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's because of how our spleens work because of the sickle cells. But with coronavirus, we know that once we are more susceptible to infections, we are also likely to be susceptible to the virus. Mm -hmm. However, with the trends we are seeing with the data, I mean, statistics are saying if you have cardiovascular disease, if you have diabetes, you'd be more likely. However, we are also seeing people who do not have any comorbidity having, sickle, um, having coronavirus. Virus, yeah. So we are advising our um, persons living with sickle cell disease mm -hmm. to maintain all the WHO protocols the social distancing, the washing hands, everything, mm -hmm. and as much as possible to limit their exposure. Mm -hmm. So we saw um, documents from other countries where they say shelter in place. So if you have sickle cell disease, it's even more stringent. Mm -hmm. So even in your own home, you're supposed to shelter from your relatives mm -hmm. because you have a, um, a high risk. 
that's for sickle, that's for people with sickle cell. So if but you say shelter, it means you have to self isolate. Self isolate. Well, what if you have to work? Yeah. So that's even it's not a Ghanaian recommendation. Uh -huh. It's elsewhere because I yeah. was trying to get recommendations I could adapt to our setting. I couldn't mm -hmm. find that. But then, so we are advising our volunteers and then persons with sickle cell to just as much as possible stay home or seek permission, limit their um, outside of, um, activities. And for that reason, all the activities we are doing today are also um, online, mm -hmm. so that we don't want everybody to come out. Just join us um, online. Mm -hmm. So that's okay. That's so it's going to so even your engagement with your stakeholders is going to be online. Yes. Yeah, so we have a press briefing, okay. but then it would also be aired online. So can you give us the the what the hashtag or the the whatever the link? That if, if I really want to be part of all this. Yes, yeah, so um, the official hashtags for this year is share your genotype. The genotype is... Share is your genotype. Yes. So let's know what, what's your... But what if I don't know? So that's even part of it. So okay. Now, Are you doing free screening? Yes, at the um, Southern Area Blood Bank in Kolebu. Okay. We are doing a blood donation exercise. Okay. I think that you can um, highlight. Yes. Okay. So what we know is that... Persons living with sickle cell disease require blood, even mm -hmm. in these COVID times. Okay. Um, they even need it more. But donations, as far as blood is concerned, is, have, has reduced because of COVID. Um, we are still going ahead with all the safety protocols in place so that people can come out and, to, donate and then donate blood because okay. it, it's still needed. And um, we are having it at the southern area. Uh, blood bank, blood. Kolebu, she yes. says. Okay. Yes, blood bank. So, so you are testing people so people get to know what their status is. Yes. yes. But that's good because there are yes. people who have the, the condition but do not know. And because they do not know, it gets, you know, very critical and, 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 and all that. Well, I just hope that this works. Do you have some final words for those who are, who are watching you? Yes, Doctor. so um, for today, mm -hmm. I'd like to say that we have a number of activities in Kolebu. We have a press briefing at 10 a.m. Um, at the nurse, um, Ghana Registered Nurses Association Secretariat at Kolebu. Then at 11.30, we are doing a tree planting and then donation to the center. Then we'll continue throughout the day till about 3 um, to do the blood donation. So we want to encourage everyone to join us mm -hmm. and then to support us as stakeholders because it affects all of us, whether you're a relative, colleague, health worker, government official, you are a stakeholder in the management of sickle cell disease. And for those of you watching, I want to tell you that please get tested now, know your genotype, and then make an informed decision about sickle cell disease. Mm. Thank you. Get tested now. Dr. Senam Sefako, bankers, is the founder of Sickle Life, and Enokwe is a volunteer. He's an advocate for uh, Sickle Life. And they are telling you that, I mean, 15,000 newborns every year are born uh, with the condition sickle cell. But there, it could be more because there are people who have been tested and so do not know what their status is. So if you have not been tested and you don't know what your status is, it's important that you know and so they are holding some testing for uh, people who want to know what their status is at the Southern Area Blood Bank at Kolebu. You're also being encouraged to donate blood to save uh, people who live with sickle cell. And they are following all the protocols. And so we want you to go there this morning and help to save a life.